Hi, I'm Mrs. Streck. I teach math at this school and I wanted to share with you a game that your child has played here and maybe will want to play while they're at home. So the game board came home with your child and um, it's called Dominating Doubles and the way that this game works is to help kids find ways to know they are double facts and then make some decisions about um, numbers that increase by one or decrease by one and in this case it even decreases by two or increases by two i'll show you uh, the goal is to get four in a row so what you'll need for this activity is the game board um, I have some like counters or space holders. You could use pennies or dimes. You could cut up pieces of paper. Anything works. And then I have two dice. So if you don't have two dice, you could use one dice at a time. You could um, use paper and number it one through five or one through six and then have um, just flip over the cards as you go you could use a deck of cards if you wanted to so what's going to happen is I'm going to roll these two dice I got six and three six plus three seven eight nine We're at six seven eight nine now I'm going to decide well if I double nine I would have 18 if I doubled plus one I'd have 19 if I double minus one, I'd have 17. If I double plus two, remember I'm thinking about 18, so I'd have 20. If I had doubles minus two, I would have 16. So right now there's nothing on the board, so I could choose any spot, but when it comes to my turn next, I'm really gonna wanna know those things. So I think I'll choose 19 for my first turn. Then it's player two's turn. Player two rolls. They get five and a six. Five plus six. Well, five plus five is ten, and one more is eleven. Eleven doubled is twenty-two. Oh, that's not on here. I don't want to pick that one. Double plus one, twenty-three. Not on here. Doubles minus one, twenty-one. I don't see it. Doubles plus two, twenty-four or doubles minus two, 20. That's the one I want to pick because the other numbers aren't on the paper. So player two will choose 20. Five and six, 11. I can use the strategies that player one just, or player two just used and know that I'm also going to take a 20. Six and three. Nine. I could use what player one used on their strategy, but this time I might choose doubles, which was 18, minus one to get 17 so I can go in a row. Because remember, the goal of the game is to get four in a row. Now, player yellow might want to try to get six or three so that they can block whatever player one or whatever player blue is doing. There are directions on the top of this page, and if you have questions, you can reach out to me, but I hope that you enjoy playing this game together. If you do have success with it, feel free to send me a message and let me know how it went. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day.